Hello students, uh, now we will see uh, another concept known as N contraction. So uh, here uh, this is uh, in this particular case we are considering the effect of sides on the discharge. Okay, so how uh, it happens we will see. Uh, so here there is a channel where uh, the water is flowing freely. So there is no uh, contraction or anything it is flowing freely and it is uh, known as a suppressed wear. So because there are no ends here it is flowing freely. So the second case there are two ends over here there are two ends over here and the discharge is less than this particular case so it is disturbed okay so that effect of the sides has to be taken to uh, taken to find out the discharge for this particular case and the third case you see here it is only there is only one side for the wear so it is uh, disturbed uh, again the flow is disturbed but it is not uh, the discharge is not very less compared to this one okay so we will take n uh, n term that is n is equal to 2 how because there are two sides for this so n is equal to 2 here you can see only one end is there so here n is equal to 1 okay so how uh, we will include that in the discharge we will see so here uh, discharge suppose this is a rectangular wear in this case discharge uh, will be equal to 2 by 3 cd l root of 2 g h raised to 3 by 2 without considering the velocity of approach so this we have learned initially okay and the second one is while considering the velocity of approach it is q is equal to 2 by 3 cd l root 2 g h plus h a raised to 3 by 2 minus h a raised to 3 by 2 considering the velocity of approach okay and how uh, we will incorporate the uh, n contraction term you will see okay so here what we are considering is that the crust length of the wear is same as the width of the channel okay we are assuming that when we apply this equation we are assuming that uh, the crust length is same as that of the width of the channel but the francis has uh, found out by certain experiments that due to the end uh, in the uh, in the wear uh, there is an end contraction happening which means that the discharge it this end contraction term or the presence of ends uh, or the sides of the wear will decrease the discharge will decrease the discharge okay so uh, that uh, how much discharge is decreasing the experiments uh, they have uh, he has conducted has helped us to find out how much uh, effect is there due to the end contraction that is each end contraction reduces the crust length into uh, 0.1 h okay so the crust length is reduced by 0.1 times h so if there is only one side 0 0.1 uh, 0 0.1 h is reduced if there is two ends so it is two times two into 0.1 h so like that it will it will happen so that is known as n so how many uh, n's are there that we will calculate into uh, into that times will be the uh, n contraction effect onto the crust length so finally you can in incorporate the uh, n contraction into the equation that is 2 by 3 cd l minus 0 0.1 uh, into n into h root 2 g h ratio 3 by 2 this is the equation okay and while considering the velocity of approach it will be like this okay so when you are considering the velocity of, of approach this capital h will be h plus h a okay so capital h will be h plus h a i i think it is clear so here uh, uh, the formula is reduced to so and so it is written like this why because i am considering a rectangular with uh, two ends so n will become two so point to h okay l minus 0.2 h now uh, here 2 by 3 cd cd is suppose i have taken as 0.623 i can uh, write, um, find out the value of 2 by 3 cd so 2 by 3 into 0 0.628 will give you 1.84 um, uh, into root 2 g sorry uh, here 2 by 3 cd root 2 g will give you 1.84 so 1.84 into l minus 0.2 h h raised to 3 by 2 so this formula is reduced to so and so this one so if you wish you uh, by heart this uh, equation only so uh, if this can be applied to uh, any uh, number of n's and uh, this can be applied to uh, any type of uh, any type of problems so uh, just i have explained how this particular equation has come okay
and this equation is known as the Francis formula and uh, if we consider the velocity of approach also uh, what happens is that uh, I have explained er earlier this h will become h plus h a and this h raised to 3 by 2 term will converted in will be converted into uh, like this okay so why because it is integrating we are integrating it so it will it is from h a to h plus h a so it will be h plus h a raised to 3 by 2 minus h a raised to 3 by 2 okay so this is the equation uh, for uh, while considering the end contraction and velocity of approach also in the Francis formula. If you want, uh, you can by heart uh, this one, this equation. So instead of this, what will happen? This h becomes h plus h a and this h becomes this term. That is h plus h a raised to 3 by 2 minus h a raised to 3 by 2 in the brackets. Okay. I hope this is clear to you and we will see one example. Okay. So in this example, now we will see this one. A V R 36 meter long is divided into 12 equal bays by vertical post each 60 centimeter wide. Determine the discharge over the wear if the head over the crest is 1.2 meters and velocity of approach is 2 meter per second. Consider the end contractions also. Okay. So now we will try to draw a figure uh, with this given data. So A V R is 36 meters long. Okay. So I have just mark the two ends these are the two ends okay and i have marked as 36 this as 36 meters okay uh, and it is divided into 12 equal base so i will just count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so it has divided into 12 equal base okay so uh, by vertical post so i have divided the entire 36 meter into 12 divisions okay with the vertical post each each 60 centimeter wide so there is the width of each vertical post is 60 centimeter so i can't uh, draw that in a paper so you can uh, this is uh, just a line uh, i have shown a line for the vertical post but its width here you can see it's a width of the uh, vertical pole post is uh, 60 centimeter okay i think it is clear to you and uh, we are asked to find out the uh, discharge over the wear okay so head over the crest is given capital h is given velocity of approach is given and you have to consider the end contractions also we will see how it is done okay so first total length of the wear i have written down as 36 meters number of base how many number of base is 12 base are there that is 12 divisions are there but we have to find out how many for uh, you can see for 12 bay number of vertical posts required as 11 okay so to, for the 12 divisions i need how many post 11 post okay and width of each post is 60 centimeter that is 0.6 meters okay and to find out the actual length uh, or actual uh, length through which this uh, water is flowing we need uh, the number of vertical post i will explain to you see here the effective length actual length through which the water is flowing you are finding out so total length you know this is the total length minus each width have to be reduced reduced or uh, deducted from the total width isn't it so this is 0.6 meters this each width is 0.6 meter that has to be subtracted from the total length so 36 minus 11 into 0.6 that is the number of vertical posts 11 into 0.6 will give you the effective length that is 29.4 okay and uh, head over the wear capital h is given as 1.2 meters this is a given data and uh, velocity of approach is 2 meter per second so well, well velocity of approach is given so from that you can find out what is h a that is v a square by 2 g so you got the value here okay and uh, then what is the equation here q is equal to 2 by 3 c d l root of 2 g h raised to 3 by 2 this is the normal equation but you are asked to uh, asked to consider the end contraction also so what is the equation for that uh, the equation will uh, be 2 by 3 cd root of 2g into considering the head loss for the length l minus 0.1 nh so that is why i have asked you to uh, remember um, the general equation for uh, considering the head loss uh, end contraction sorry end contraction
okay uh, l minus 0.1 nh h raised to 3 by 2 so here you know that uh, instead of h raised to 3 by 2 again you have to consider the uh, what consider uh, the velocity of upper head loads due to velocity of approach so again incorporating the head uh, velo head oh, sorry head for uh, velocity of approach here and here the equation will become here the equation will become uh, instead of h it has turned into h plus h a and here h raised to 3 by 2 will become h plus h a raised to 3 by 2 minus h a raised to 3 by 2 okay so number of n contraction how how many n uh, n's are there for each bay you have uh, you, uh, for each bay you have two sides okay two n's so how to calculate the two n's it will be um, a total number of bays is 12 okay 12 into 2 each bay has two two sides so 12 into 2 24 so n is 24 so substitute the value of 24 in terms of in uh, instead of n so here 24 is there these all data it is given in the question and uh, here what is h plus h a h is 1.2 h a we have found out uh, from this equation that is 0 0.2038 substitute here so carefully substitute all these values here hell l what is l effective length 29.4 so here i have substituted 29.4 here you substitute all the values in the equation find out the answer so this is the answer of oh, that is a discharge with the end contraction and the velocity of approach will be 75.198 meter cube per second i hope this question is uh, clear to you